snowman plan. and the snowman plan. Contents! Oh no, contest! On a snowy day in January, Henry and Henry's big dog Mudge saw a sign in a store window. It says Snowman Contest, Saturday at the park. A snowman contest, The Henry. Wow, Mudge wags his tail. He always wags his tail when Henry said, wow, and meant excitement and sometimes it meant dessert. Henry ran home to tell his father. Henry's father was in a chair basement painting a chair. He had green paint on his hair, across his nose, and on his mustache. Guess what that said Henry. Mudge was looking for a special old boot. What? asked Henry's father. He wiped some paint across his chin. There is a snowman contest on Saturday, said Henry. Snowman contest, said Henry's father. He wiped some paint on his ears. Wow, can we go, said Henry. Sure, said Henry's father. He wiped some paint on his elbow. Henry looked at his father. Henry looked at the chair. Dad, I think that chair has things painting you, said Henry. Henry's dad looked at himself in an old mirror. He had green hair, a green nose, a green mustache, a green chin, green ears, a green elbow. Henry's dad looked at Henry. He said, you should see me when I paint the house at the park. At the park. On Saturday, Henry and Henry's father and Henry's big dog Mark went to the park. There were many people there. And all of the people had things. They had shovels and spoons. They had hats and shoes. They had rocks and carrots and marbles and broccoli. Broccoli, said Henry to his father. And of course, they all had dogs. It looks like more a wagging contest to me, said Henry's father. was wagged and wagged. Henry and Henry's dad already made their snowman plan. They looked at each other. They shook their hands. Hands, good luck. Break a leg. And don't let the, the bugs, bed bugs bite, said Henry's father. And they got to work. Wow, well, Henry built and his father built their snowman which visit he visited a poodle he visited a husky he visited a dash son who didn't want to visit him then he found a carrot to chew on a Coachella helped him chew it Mush finished his house first. It looked like the Coachella might finish hers then time in July. Mush wagged and gave her a kiss. Snowman aliens. By three 
eight o'clock, all of the snowmen were ready for the judges. Henry and his father looked around the park. There were snow people. There were snow cats. There were snow dogs. There were snow aliens. And one person has built a snow African Lincoln. Wow, said Henry. The judges walked all around. Henry and Henry's Henry was feeling nervous. He held a much cooler. Holding much cooler always helped when Henry was nervous. I hope they like ours, Henry said. Me too, said Henry's dad. Holding Henry's collar on the other side. Finally, the judges arrived. They looked carefully at the snowman Henry and his father had built. They looked at the front. They looked at the back. They looked all around. Finally, one of them asked, what is it? It's my dad when he's painting. A chair, said Henry. The judges looked again and laughed and laughed. Much laughed and drooped on their boots. The winners were were innocent. No, innocent. First plane went to Africa Lincoln. Second place went to a snow leopard. And third place went to the snowman with paint and his mustache. Yay, young Henry. Henry and Henry's father proudly looked at their prizes. One was a purple ribbon. It said the third place winner, most original snowman. And the other prize was a big box of snowman cookies. I sure I'm glad you're a messy bit painter, Dad, said Henry. I'm an even messier eater, said Henry's father. He and she and Henry and Henry's big dog must took their prizes home and made a wonderful cookie mess. I read to Henry and Mudge and the Snowman Plan. I'm going to read you another book next time. Bye!